It is Access Earth from Ireland. Congratulations. It's fantastic. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Congratulations. Congratulations. Let me get the uh Congratulations. Congratulations. And and there's this little check here for five thousand dollars. Congratulations. <laughs> it's great. Here's Team Access Earth from Ireland. Ireland's Access Earth took inspiration from Paralympic dance champion Vivian Macedo when building a Windows Phone app they describe as TripAdvisor for the mobility impaired. Access Earth provides reliable and up-to-date accessibility information on public locations. The app's easy-to-understand rating system provides useful information such as elevator and ramp locations, all based on first-hand experience of what mobility-impaired users want and need. The Access Earth team developed Access their project Earth. for Windows Phone using Microsoft Azure for cloud storage. They formed partnerships with several disability organizations in Ireland and are collecting initial data from users in 10 cities around the world. Congratulations to Access Earth for their third place victory. Well now, on to the second place winner, which is Smart Crew from Taiwan. <laughs> Here you go. Congratulations. 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 Here you go. Clearly, this is the most important thing right here. But in addition to this, you have a check that can go right underneath it if you'd like. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations. Taiwan's smart crew understands how giving stroke patients tools to measure their progress during rehabilitation can make recovery much easier. They developed U-Sense, a wearable motion detection system that uses a gyroscope, accelerometer, and magnetometer to collect data on patient mobility and upload it to the cloud for access by approved clinical specialists. The team developed U-Sense's software as a .NET application in Visual Studio using Microsoft Azure for cloud storage. Their custom hardware solution measures movements in under five degrees of precision, an important requirement for clinical rehabilitation. It measures movement angles, angular velocity, spasticity, muscle tone, and more. Congratulations to Smart Crew for their second place victory. And, and finally, in the world citizenship category, we have our first place winner, a team that receives $50,000 and an invitation to work with Microsoft Youth Spark for a week. That winner is Anemia from Australia. Congratulations. 
Australia's iNemia has created a low-cost, easy-to-use mobile app that can diagnose anemia simply by taking a selfie. The app analyzes the eye of the user through the camera of a mobile phone. By detecting conjunctival pallor, the project's algorithm can diagnose the presence and severity of anemia. Anemia affects approximately 25% of the global population and accounts for 20% of all maternal deaths. Standard medical tests for anemia require trained personnel. Team Inemia consists of two medical students with a passion for technology. They previously scored an honorable mention in the Imagine Cup Project Blueprint and User Experience Challenges, as well as the Imagine Cup Skype Award for Social Impact. Inemia runs on Windows Phone. Image processing is done in the cloud with Microsoft Azure. Improvements to the algorithm are made directly to the cloud without requiring a client update. Team Inemia is running an ethics-approved multi-center trial in both rural and urban Australia, with 87 participants generating hundreds of photos. Accuracy rates are up to 80% in the prototype. The team will seek seed funding and NGO partnerships to run field trials in the developing world. Inemia will be free to users for limited monthly usage. In-app purchases enable unlimited usage for clinics and the ability to generate medical reports and collect data over time. For the developing world, the team expects Inemia to be completely free. Congratulations to Inemia on their first place victory. To Inemia, to all of the teams that participated in the citizenship category, thank you. Well done.